Um, it looks like he's just going to take care of his needs. It's the morning time. Um, so he's going to shower. And then um, Julia, unfortunately, is going to be late for work if she doesn't get her booty to work soon. So let's see if she will do that. I don't know if... Um, I hate how long potty training takes, first of all, in The Sims 4. Like, their their skill, I feel like, goes up really slow. And, and on top of that, like, the interaction itself. Like, he's been sitting on this potty since, like, 7 a.m. And it's now 8.20. Why is it taking an hour to sit on the potty, you know? And then he's not even going to be, like, halfway through the potty training skill. But we'll see. I mean, I get that that's why it goes up so slow. But we shall see. I don't want her to be late for work. So he needs to do his business a little bit faster here. Um, Brock has been super into the mixology skill, which I am supporting because I think that fits his personality, which is good. Um, I don't know if Juliet is going to be very successful in the teacher career just because she doesn't have like any research and debate skill, which is the skill required for that career. Um, so we shall see. Also, my game might be really slow right now. Oh, look at her teacher outfit. That is so cute. I've actually never seen um, this for the teacher outfit. Like, I feel like I've played with the teacher career before, and they never wear this outfit. So I don't know if that's a new teacher outfit, but I like it. Um, let me... Oh, this kid is always playing in the bookshelf, and it makes me nervous because it looks like he's, like, destroying the place. But he's just... Also, this interaction goes on forever. But it's just, like him playing in the bookshelf um but now that Juliet's at work we will go ahead and hang out with um Brock and Jonah and she said hey you I'm in a bit of a weird place right now do you mind if I come crash with you for a while I promise I won't take up too much room I just need to get away for a bit and I'm really contemplating if we should say yes because like she's our neighbor and like also tea like what's going on like are her and her man headed for divorce they literally like maybe that's why she was feeling tense yesterday I don't know, but I'm literally like, girl, si I just opened this sim world yesterday. Like, what is going on? She also has three kids at home, one of which is a toddler. And then I believe she has a teenager and a child. So I'm like, do I say OK? I don't know. I feel like we just started. I'm like, I don't want another person in the house. But I'm also like, I don't know. I'm going to say OK, because I've never seen I've never had this question pop up. I don't know if this is from the Growing Together pack or what, but I'm literally going to say OK. Oh, God, I don't know what's going to happen, but I said OK. All right, so let's go ahead and see what Jonah's doing. He's sad. I think he had a poor pot yep, potty accident. Jonah made a little boo-boo when using the potty, and he's pretty upset about it. That's so cute. Okay, Brock is drinking juice, which we are not supporting right now. Also, this kid made a little bit of a mess in here, including his potty accident, but then he also got us some parts. So let's go ahead and scavenge for some parts. And then I guess Brock will have to be a literal father and watch Jonah and hang out with him today. So since he um, he hasn't been changed yet, he's still in his jammies. Let's go ahead and what is this? Have you been to Black Spark? We are not playing Batu. Like this is not. Um, yeah, I'll take a vacation later. We are not doing that. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, what is he doing with him? I didn't even click anything. Let's go ahead and oh, he wants to be carried. I forgot. That's like his quirk. Um, let's let's uh get to know our own son i feel like that's an appropriate um thing for him and then um let's go ahead and let's see here what we can do yeah it's gonna give us like the batu speech which we're not interested in acquiring the handiness skill juliet's off to work part acquire the potty skill um let's go ahead and use the best trash can in the world and um get rid of this for some 30 simoleons here we go and then i wonder if we i didn't get because i like made this house before growing together came out so i didn't get any like additional toddler stuff so i'll have to check on that i'm not going to do it right now because i know while i'm recording it's literally going to take like five years to load build mode but let's go ahead and um change him into some regular clothes i think mm. Yeah, let's change his outfit into, I think I just literally did one everyday outfit because let's be real, like the toddlers don't have that many clothing, like options to choose from. And then on top of that, I just, oh no, I gave him two, it looks like. Okay, well, they're going to take forever to load. I don't know if anyone else's takes like forever to load their outfit choices. This is what he was wearing in the first part. So do I wait for this one to load to see what it is? No, I'm just going to tell him to get in that one. We'll find out. 
Um, and then we have to clean up this potty chair and his little his little boo boo accident. Um, let me see. I also adjusted the volume a lot. I turned down my microphone slightly, but I turned down the gameplay volume a lot. So hopefully this part, the audio quality will be just as good. I literally haven't recorded using the, I'm using the blue snowball. Like, does anyone remember when that came out? Like for the microphone, I'm literally using that. So I hope, I don't know. I should just get another microphone, but I love this one and it's, I've had it for like years. So, um, let's go ahead and let's just start teaching him things. Let's go ahead and teach Jonah to say sorry. Also, who's walking into her house? Is this Rachel? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, she has a little bag and everything. This is her winter outfit, I believe. Look at her. She's depressed. <gasps> Rachel, it's okay. Look at, she literally showed up with a suitcase. Do I have to like greet her? Stay over, guest. What? Is, I, I don't know if this is from Growing Together or not. It might literally just be like an update but i guess we'll give her a friendly introduction guys in the comments let me know if we should have brock be even though he's like you know good and like like his that's one of his personality traits let me know if he should be a dirty little dog and sleep with rachel because or woohoo with rachel because he, she's a married woman i mean i don't know if they're still married right now given everything is like changing and she's staying over here as a stay over guest but we're about to find out if that's the case oh this is his this is jonah's other outfit how cute let's see if i can get a better angle for you guys of jonah's jonah's cute little outfit okay he looks sad but this is his outfit cute um his second everyday outfit more summery okay so Good job. Brock is over here and he's saying hello to Rachel. Let's go ahead and I wonder if there's going to be like an interaction in which we can ask her like, what is going on? Okay, welcome, Rachel. We can also ask her to help out. So maybe we'll do that and like maybe she'll help with the toddler because I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of Brock starting out being not the best dad and then eventually being a great dad. Maybe Juliet falls in love with him. Maybe he does. Um, maybe she doesn't. But we shall see how that goes. My game is being dirt slow right now. I might have to restart it. By the way, also, like I wouldn't have said yes if we didn't have an extra bedroom because where, she, where was she going to sleep? Crash on the couch? Like, I mean, that's really how it's done. All right. Let's go ahead and what are, is Jonah Okay. I guess he needs a bath and he's ready to eat. I did have um, Brock when he ate breakfast. I had him give a give a serving. Um, let's see. I'll just put it on the floor and then I'll have little Jonah come ahead and eat the fruit salad. And then that'll take care of his hunger needs. And then I guess I'll have I'll have Brock give Jonah a bath in a moment after he's done eating. But while Jonah's eating, okay, she's over here using our computer. Like, you're a stay-at-home mom, so I know you're not working. Let's go ahead and describe a new idea to her. Let's try and get a little bit of a bond. Um, let's discuss the neighborhood changes because we are new to the area, um, and she has lived here a while with her husband and kids. So we will go ahead and just, you know, be friendly at first. We're not going to go straight into um, affection. <laughs> and flirting um let's go ahead ask rachel to relax encourages him not to worry about helping around the house while staying over or we can ask rachel to help out um i'm not going to ask her anything yet because we don't really have anything going on but um soon what is is he done with his meal he's walking around i guess so he's about to place it on the bar because apparently jonah can reach the bar maybe the table where is he going to place his bowl but he's done eating um, do we have a bathtub? I just realized I might have only placed showers, which would not be great. Let's see. No, we have a bath. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and give Jonah a bubble bath. That's so cute and so fun. And he placed his bowl over here, so we'll use our handy dandy trash can. That's so cute. Okay, so let me go ahead. Oh, new family dynamics. Strict. When it comes to Brock and Jonah, a sense of order seems to abound, as the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older Sim's higher expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning more, and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling. 
though both might get stressed overall. Would you say that Brock and Joan have a strict family dynamic? Okay, so this is definitely part of growing together. I don't know if I want to see Brock as the strict parent. I definitely think Jonah respects Brock, but I don't know if I want to give him, like, I don't know. I'm going to say no, even though I, I hope, like, I don't want to have the carefree dynamic. I don't know how many dynamics are there, but I'm assuming there's more than just, like, strict and then the opposite. So we're going to go ahead and say no. Um... And he's just going to go give him a bath. And then let's go ahead and move Rachel's suitcase into her bedroom. Um, so that way she knows that's her room and we did not need that suitcase hanging around. So I wonder how long she's going to stay over. Like, is it just for a night or two? I guess we'll find out. Um, I want to say the Connors are in this house, which is gorgeous. Oh, no. No one's in the house. Move in household. Um, so they might be in this one then. Let's see. No, visit the Connors. Okay, so they live in this beautiful blue house over here. Look at how gorgeous this house is. It has a wraparound porch, which is like my dream porch. I love a good wraparound porch. Um, I also love that there's a roller skating rink over here. That is so cute. We'll have to um, use that when we teach Jonah how to ride a bike. That's going to be so fun. Okay, so he's giving Jonah a bath and his parenting skill went up, which is great. Um, Brock can now influence kids to do homework. He can firmly tell his kids not to do bad behaviors. He can also select more options when responding to teaching a moment. Cool. Now they're both feeling embarrassed because we learned Rachel's loyal. So that must mean she's still with her husband if she rejected Brock's flirtation? Question mark? Okay, not not the first kiss of the series literally being Lilith Vittori. That's hilarious. The vampire. Out of bed and just started eating fruit salad at 2 a.m she's really going through it like she could have like you know got out of bed and ate the cake that was on the counter but she was like you know what i need to be stronger than that and she got fruit salad out of the fridge which is so random like at 2 a.m i just thought i'd show you guys okay so it's not even like an hour later and she once again got out of bed and is making what looks like another cake at 3 a.m so she went back to bed after eating her fruit salad like literally nothing happened so i was like this is boring and i'm not gonna make you guys watch this and then like she got up 30 minutes later and is making another cake so we love that for mrs rachel but all right yeah. guys so it is the next morning rachel is still being weird and like keeps going like in and out of sleep and is baking cakes and other stuff but juliet's about to go to work and I just woke Jonah up so that way we can get a little potty training session in before Mrs. Juliet goes to work. And then I also had her grab um, Jonah a serving of uh, fruit salad so we don't have to wake Brock up for him to eat. <laughs> That's like my hack. I mean, I'm sure everyone has already discovered that that is like the best way to keep track of a toddler's like food needs is to just grab servings and then give it to the toddler so they can just eat it on their own without a parent having to feed them. But Jonah finally reached potty level two, thank God. So that way he can go on his own if needed and we don't have to worry about rushing to make him not use his diaper. Um, but he looks so cute and Julia is probably not going to have time to get her fun up before she goes to work, but I will have her. I feel like she's educated and would be interested in watching the news before she goes to work. So I will have her do that if we have enough time. Hopefully Jonah will hurry up and go to the bathroom here. And she does not have time to watch the news. How sad. <laughs> She's just going to go to work stressed and stay stressed. But Brock just woke up. Lilith went home at like 4 a.m. She was just like hanging out watching TV and then she went home. Um, no, leave leave Juliet alone. Okay, let's go ahead and have him go to the bathroom and take a shower. Take a cold shower. Or actually, let's keep him flirty so that way. Uh, I was going to say, okay, she just keeps making cake. How about make love to your husband and go back home to him because honestly she's kind of bothering me and i also want to like low-key see what's in the suitcase can we open the suitcase i feel like this is just gonna come back to bite me and she's gonna like it's just gonna put clothes on the floor um but juliet just went to work jonah is hungry oh he wants the cake no eat your fruit salad that is so cute he's going for cake but now let's see this interaction oh that's what it looks like Okay, I thought she was going to walk in and see him, like, see, like, yeah, Brock going through a suitcase. But she just went to our computer in our room. That's not cool. We are annoyed. So, she's in our room. So, I feel like we can go ahead and come in here and um, lay it on her. But we're not going to because 
we got to respect her. But we will have her. I did like that um, new interaction. It looks like you can swap baby milestones. What is that under? Mm, maybe it's under deep thoughts. Mm, I guess not. I guess it was just something I got when I clicked on her. Okay, there we go. Swap baby milestone stories because at the end of the day, she needs also she needs to like go home. Like she has kids of her own. Um, but guys, this is it for part two of Let's Play The Sims 4. Um, really, I have it as like a Let's Play The Sims 4 Let's Play, but right now I'm obviously focusing more on the Growing Together pack, and we'll be going to San Sequoia in the next part just to explore more of the San Sequoia world. Maybe we'll go to the library. Um, Julia is going to be having work every day of the week because she is a teacher, so Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, but um, hopefully we can have Brock and Jonah get out, and he can use Jonah as his little... Um, sweet talking to to help him get a woman because i guess i mean he is a player but um clearly he needs to he's going after the wrong women so rachel's not interested but we we do want them to be friends because he is friends you know what? let's go ahead and be petty and while rachel is using our computer let's go ahead and call up her husband and be like what is going on i think nathaniel yeah nathaniel connor let's go ahead and like chat with him and figure out what's going on and send him a text saying he needs to fix whatever whatever went wrong and get Rachel out of our house because she's using our computer which is not cool but I'm gonna end this part guys like and subscribe and let me know what other exciting things you want us to do in this let's play what um, like different spaces you want us to travel to and what we should do with Jonah because he's going to be aging up soon. So I will totally you get, use your creative advice as to what Jonah should be like as a child. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.